Today we are going to look at cleaning valves on a brass instrument and for today's demonstration I'm going to use a trumpet. Trumpets have three valves. Valve 1 is the nearest valve to the mouthpiece, valve 3 is the nearest valve to the bell and valve 2 is always a valve that's in the middle. When you're working on valves on a brass instrument only take out one valve at a time as you must not get them mixed up when you come to put the valves back in. If you do, the instrument won't work. In front of me, I have a bottle of valve oil. And please only use uh, valve oil that's specific for brass instruments. Not any oil will do. Okay. If, if you don't have valve oil at home, then you can also use some of the following. A cup of warm soapy water and a cup of clean non-soapy water by itself and a cloth or paper tissue to dry the valve once you've washed it. So doing the valves the first thing we need to do is to unscrew the valve cap, lift up the valve so you can actually see the valve spring here. What I would then if you do is if you're using valve oil, get an adult, do two or three drops on the bottom of the valve part, either side, push the valve back down into the casing, screw on the valve cap, and then that should be nice and free to work. If I'm not using valve oil, what I would then do is actually the valve that you're working on, unscrew the valve cap, lift out the valve completely, taking it out of the casing. I would then wash it in warm soapy water take it out of there, then dry it using the paper towel. What I would then do is dip the valve in the clean water. Don't dry it, leave the valve wet. Then I would place it back into the casing. Now, the valves actually have numbers on to tell you which valve it is. In this case, I'm working on valve one. So I have the number pointing towards me. What I'm now going to do is push the valve down into the casing. I know for the instrument to work properly, the number has to be pointing towards the mouthpiece. So in that case, I'm going to push the valve down. <clears throat> I'm then going to turn the valve 90 degrees to the left. You'll hear a click, and you'll also feel it click. The valve actually won't turn now because the guide on the valve is lined up and it's in the proper groove it should be. So that's in the right place and then put on the valve casing nice and tight now I know this is lined up properly so when I blow air through the instrument you should be able to hear air come out come out of the bell I know it's actually lined up and the instrument will work so I know that's going to be fine I would then repeat the process for valve 2 and then valve 3. One thing I will say is if, if you take the instrument out of the case and the valves are completely stuck, jammed solid, please don't force the valves or ask an adult to force any valves to get them out. That can actually cause a lot more damage. What I would do in that situation is leave the instrument in your case and Get the instrument back to your teacher as soon as you can. 